Now, a complete change of pace. So we're going to switch to the serious new film by Bernardo Bertolucci, the Italian filmmaker best known as the director of Last Tango in Paris. His new film is Luna, the often shocking, often merely confusing story of an American opera singer, Jill Clayburgh, whose husband suddenly dies. The new widow takes her teenage son to Rome on a concert tour. They both have emotional crisis. She discovers her son is hooked on heroin, and that triggers a sexual episode between them. At an outdoor birthday party for her son, Jill Clayburgh embarrasses the boy. She's despondent and drunk. Mom? Oh, it makes me want to cry. Hey, Mom. Mom. Come. Mom. Mom. Later in the film, the relationship deepens between mother and son. She takes pity on the child and his drug habit. They have that sex sequence together. He later responds by fixing her a special dinner. They're drawing closer to each other. French-style souffle. Candlelight. Fancy. Fancy. You now have 19 minutes and 45 seconds to get dressed. 19 minutes and 45 seconds! A troubling sequence, Luna does involve some powerful emotions, the unspoken feelings between parents and children, but the film is needlessly obscure. What's it really about? Well, it's got a lot of subjects, the generation gap, the impotence of an artist, a teenage identity crisis, a kid searching for his father, incest, drug addiction, life with a jet set. Well, that's too many subjects for one movie. It never really figures out what it wants to say about all those subjects. We walk out of the picture and we say, what was it about? We do, and I think that's very disappointing because we go in with high expectations. Bertolucci sure. is a major contemporary artist. He's one of the best Italian directors. He's made a lot of the best movies of the last 10 years. But the list that you just uh, mentioned sounds like uh, possible subjects for a series of soap operas. Mm -hmm. I mean, and there are a couple of subjects you left out that he has in the movie, too. Now, there are two ways to really deal with this kind of ragged material. Either you can make it into a soap opera, one of those trashy pictures like the Greek tycoon, or what Bertolucci is trying to do, I think, make it operatic. You know, the subjects are larger than life and so are the characters. That'd be great. The subjects are certainly larger than life, but the characters never really come to life. That's the big problem. We don't care about those two people. Oh, their problems are sad, but they're not very likable people, and I'm afraid we think they're sort of spoiled rich people, and we really don't care about their problems. I'll just hold one other thing. Uh, the picture is being touted a little bit because of the sex sequence between the mother and the son. While it's no real big deal in the picture, and if anyone's going because they want to see that scene, 
it's not much, I'm afraid. It's, t it's more touching and sad than it is erotic in any way. Right, I think this movie is really a disappointment. Can't recommend the Italian drama Luna about a violent and sexual relationship between a mother and her son. It's beautiful to look at, but also tedious and confusing.